Technology-based instructional materials are significant in the teaching and learning process for both educators and learners, especially since our mode of learning is online or blended. Good day everyone, I am Stephanie Silvina-Lit from Columbia College Incorporated, and this is our technology-based instructional material entitled The Science This instructional material is made through the use of Microsoft PowerPoint. To make it interactive and interesting for students as they listen, we incorporated the slides with animations, transitions, pictures, audio, and videos. This is aligned with the VARC model since there is already visual, auditory, reading and writing, and pre-study. We also added games that students can enjoy along with the discussion. In the first slide, we can see here multiple buttons. Below the title, you need it easier for the to maneuver the different topics such as the types of activities, the different processes and platforms, the videos included in this instruction material, and the references. We also added audio here to comply with the VARC model. Now this one is optional for the teacher. We thought that some teachers may not want to play background music since there will be discussions and it may interrupt or create noise for the students and the teachers in the class. If the teacher wants to play audio, she can just click this button and audio will play in the background. In the next slide, we have this game called Word Search. The students should find all the listed words in this table. The words can be spelled across, up and down, or diagonally. It can be spelled forward or backward. But the question is, how are they going to answer if they are in an online class and they cannot point it out? In the upper part, as we can see here, we inserted numbers, and in the left part, we inserted alphabets. If they want to answer, they have to see letter and the number to which the first letter is located and how it is spelled. For example, the first word we have here is the island office. So if the student is going to answer, he or she has to say, Ma'am, it is in M13, across an image, and it is spelled backward. So in the slideshow, the teacher can use the highlighter to highlight the words that the students found. In the next slide, we can see here that the information is loaded. But once we click the slideshow, we can only see the different types of the boundaries, which are convergent boundary, divergent boundary, and transform boundary. Once we click the particular event, for example, we want to learn more about the convergent boundary. Once we click this, additional information about convergent boundaries will appear. Now, in convergent boundaries, we have three varieties of these situations. First is when oceanic crusts meet. Second is when oceanic crust meets continental crust. The third is when both continental crusts meet. The button in the lower part here, which says three varieties, is to explain those three scenarios. So we have ocean ocean, ocean continental, and continental. The next slide is the game mainly about the previous topic, which is about three types of play boundaries. The class will be divided into four groups, and each card has corresponding points. The students have the freedom to choose which card will they answer. The cards are either identification, explanation, or multiple choice. We use the mark model as a guide in this game. This one is an example for which one. This one is for reading and writing. That can start a part. Uh, they will be asked to show how a particular plate boundary moves. They will be asked to show it this in their hands. And for the auditory part, we added an audio to play in the background during the video session. What we used here is a video animation. There was a time when I was doing my demo picture that I accidentally clicked a button and the answer was revealed in class. If we were animation, that can be avoided. Also, if we continue to the next slide, those pop-ups will not be seen since they will only appear when you click a certain link.
the next slide, we have another topic that is also connected to the first one. Here we have the processes and landforms that occur along the three boundaries. Under the title is the three types, the convergent boundary, the divergent boundary, and the transform boundary. When we click one label, we will be transferred to the slide without information about the type of boundary. Again, this makes it easier for the teacher to transfer from one topic to another, especially during reviews before the lesson topic. Again, audio can be heard once the slide shows up. In the next slide, we have the convergent boundary slide. We have features and explanations. The trash and the volcanic arc are clickable, meaning to say the teacher can click that label and another additional factor. Now, from the previous lesson, we have identified that convergent boundary have three varieties. The buttons in the lower left, lower right, the left then transfer to those three varieties. The first one has a mountain and ocean icon, which means it is for ocean and continent. The second one, we have here a wave icon, which means it is for ocean and ocean. And the third one is a mountain, which means it is for continental continent. Here we have the second variety, which is where oceanic crust meets oceanic crust. This forms island parts and oceanic crusts as well. The next slide is the continental crust meets continental crust, which forms a collision zone. We have here another button which says mountains. Once click, information about mountains and mountain ranges appear. The button in the upper left will take us back to the previous part. Now here we can see a few other. Most of the time, a one-hour discussion is not enough for a particular topic. Using the QR code, the students can just scan it and watch it during their free time for asynchronous classes. But if the teacher wanted to play the video, he or she can just click the play button and the slides will transfer into the video about how time to Now, the second part of click boundary is the diversion boundary where two tectonic plates move away from each other. We have here a GIF to show how reef and leaf bodies form. In the lower left, we can click the camera icon and three examples of reef bodies will be shown. We have here East, East African Reef, this Red Sea Reef, and the Rio Grande Reef. The next slide is about the sea floor spreading. Just like the previous slide, uh, another QR code will be shown. Teachers have the choice to either play it along with the discussion or let the students scan the code for students to watch later. But what if the students cannot scan the code or the graduates didn't have a scanner? Now, the link for the video is posted in the notes section of the PowerPoint so teachers can just send them to the students through chat box. The next one is about earthquakes. For the transform boundary, our third type of the boundaries. A question is shown on the right side of the slide. It says, How are earthquakes recorded? Using the trigger animation without revealing the answer, the teacher can first ask the students, How are earthquakes recorded? This is also to test if the students already have knowledge about system maps, which is the actual device used in recording earthquakes. Once done, the teacher can reveal the answer by clicking the test. And then we have another game we called Why Am I? This is to test what have the students learned in the discussion. For the game mechanics, a statement followed by the question What am I to appear? The students can raise their hand or their one hand if they want to answer. For the first question, I am the distance between the trench and the arc. What am I? For example, their answer is arc trench. Arc. So we will just type the answer in the box arc trench. Arc. When typing the answer, we have to make sure to type it in capital letters since that is what's great time in the code. Then click check once done typing so we can see if your answer is correct or not. Now that is correct. Now the last two tabs are the videos and references. For the implementation of this instructional material, we based it on the 5E e inquiry based instructional model. For the first E or the engagement, teachers can use the word search game. This is to capture the students' attention through a game and help them access their prior knowledge about the boundaries. 
Next, exploration. The name game can be conducted for this part of the discussion the different types of platforms. The whole discussion for the different processes and platforms that occur along the boundaries is for the third and fourth E, or the explanation and elaboration. This is to clarify your understanding of the previous lesson activity. YouTube videos are inserted to further give a clear explanation and application in the real world situation. In the last E, which is evaluation, the what am I game is provided. This can be done live during the online class or can be transferred into Word document for individual scoring. Why did we choose interactive and game based PowerPoint instead of making a website? audio book, ebook, or other computer-based instructional material. Everyone in the education course is aware of Microsoft Office, especially Microsoft PowerPoint, since this is what we use during reporting, defense, presentations, and applications. We choose to create instructional material using this tool for particular purposes. First, collaboration. As you have seen in our instructional material, we inserted questions without the answers to them. This is a way for the teachers to collaborate and interact with students, which is also a teaching strategy. Second, PowerPoint presentations are easy to make and it is free to use. You don't need high-end gadgets to create a presentation. For example, in making video lessons, you need a camera, a video editor application that must be compatible with your laptop, knowledge of how to edit a video, and others that may be too complicated or strenuous for our educators. Third, it is very easy to use. The guides or instructions are not helpful to follow. There are also numerous tutorials on YouTube in making a PowerPoint presentation interactive and interesting for your students. Also, you don't need to know different tools that are too complicated to create an interactive material. Lastly, for the side of the teacher, PowerPoint presentations can be created, opened, and edited with or without an internet connection. It is available during online or face-to-face -face classes, as long as they have their laptop in the front itself. For the side of the students, it is accessible to them. As we all know, most students, especially during online classes, tend to message you to ask for a copy of the presentation. They can open it anytime as long as they have their gadgets. This is incredibly helpful for the students who only use mobile data in online classes instead of an internet connection who wants to view the PowerPoint multiple times. Again, I am Stephanie Sidney Alcadit from Columbia College Incorporated, and this is our instructional material entitled The Science of Base.